Okay, welcome back to another Fast Fix video. Let's get right to it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, download this program called Rufus. Rufus is used to create USB drives, USB bootable operating systems. You can use this for Linux, you can use it for Windows, you can use it for a lot of different programs. Um, so Fast Fix Fit, go ahead and download Rufus. I already did this on my desktop. Go ahead and close this. Go ahead and run this. Do you want to allow Rufus updates? Your preference. I right, click yes. I'd like to keep it up to date. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. You go ahead and select the USB drive you have, or that you want to up or put the operating system onto. I recommend at least 32 gig. Um, you can use probably an 8 gig or larger. Um, you also want it to be pretty fast. So you want to at least have a USB 3.0 or greater compatible USB drive with at least a 80 megabyte per second read and write. Okay, that's that. So go ahead and select your device. This right here, leave it default. Then you're going to go ahead and find your ISO. Select that. Select the Ubuntu. Click on the OK. Now, when you do Ubuntu, you have the ability to create a persistent partition size. Short story, it works OK. It's not the best option. There's better ways to do it. Would I recommend using this? No, but you can. Just slide it over. You can do 56 gigs, um, do 8 gigs. Again, there are limitations to it. I'm not just going to leave it. Uh, partition scheme. Uh, yeah, master boot record or GBT. Master boot records are for older operating systems and older computers. If you're working on an older computer, I would say anything pre 2014, 2015, uh, create a MBR based thumb drive. If you're using it, you're going to be working on anything that's newer, do GPT. These work with this. As in, if it's going, to, if you're going to do a partition screen of MBR, it's going to be for a BIOS based op, uh, computer. If you're going to do GPT, it's going to be for a UEFI based system. I'm going to do GPT because that's what I run here. Label whatever you want. Here, it will 90% of the time boot if you pick FAT32. NTFS, 20-30% eh, of the time. I would recommend just keeping it to FAT32. Um, advanced features, you can use them if you want. I don't. I just click start. Uh, ISO image. Use this nine times out of ten. If you're going to do Arch or any Arch-based Linux operating systems, I would use DD. But for Windows-based or Ubuntu, uh, ISOs. Failed. Yep, it's going to delete everything. Keep having to delete everything. And look at it go. This will take about five minutes. Failed. If you get this, it's because your system has it locked. So, this is my drive. I'm going to try it first. Closing this, which would be the most simple way to solve that problem. Have it start again. Failed. And there it goes. Like I said, this will take a couple of minutes, so I probably will speed this up. Also, this process will be a lot quicker if you're using a USB 3.0 port or a USB 3.1 port. Um, if you're going to plug it into a USB 2.0 port, uh, this will take a long time. 
Uh, yeah, if you have a USB 2.0 port, just go grab a cup of coffee or something. This will take a while. 3.0, 3.1, depending on the thumb drive you're using, uh, you can usually sit through it. Once it's finished, uh, next step would be to reboot your computer or plug it into the computer that you are going to be booting to this thumb drive from. Uh, you'll be hitting like the F10, F11, F12, delete, escape, depending on the BIOS and the computer maker. You'll be uh, looking for the boot menu and depending on the partition scheme you picked, uh, if the computer is a BIOS-based computer and you made a BIOS-based boot drive, you should see a USB drive there or something along those lines, or even the maker of your thumb drive. Press Enter and then press Start, and then you'll be booting into the drive. Uh, same thing goes for GPT. Uh, you should see possibly the maker. It's usually the same buttons. And uh, select it and boot into it. But if you have the wrong partition screen for the computer you're trying to boot to, that's when you'll have problems. And that's when you'll uh, have to troubleshoot and um, probably just create a new drive wipe over the drive the thumb drive with the different partition scheme and try it that's usually fixes most of those problems or i have multiple thumb drives and have different partition schemes that fixes that too okay we're done Good luck with your uh, troubleshooting, or good luck installing your new operating system. See you next time.